what's going on everybody Chris C back with another video um, today a uh, double feature um, presentation here uh, my thoughts and reviews of Lucio Fulci's perversion story and uh, this bad boy right here the incubus and the incubus was directed by sorry give me a quick second I took notes on a perversion story so uh, <laughs> uh, directed by uh, John Hugh um, very good extras on this too, by the way, but I'll get to that later. So we're going to get to uh, this bad boy first, uh, Perversion Story, a.k.a. One on Top of the Other, <laughs> which I almost kind of like the name a little bit better. Uh, this kind of works, but it's, uh, it's different. So uh, done by the late great, directed by the late great Lucio Fulci. Um, his first film shot outside of Italy when he was doing other films and stuff like that too. Um, starring uh, Melissa Mel, which is uh, this beautiful lady right here. My goodness. Um, yeah, God bless her. I'm gonna start with that in a second. And then um, Jean Sorbet. Um, and um, let me just start. Uh, this movie gets a mid eight out of 10 for me. I really like this film. Um, it's an erotic thriller, um, and it is a giallo. Um, really good plot. It's this rich doctor. His wife dies, and um, he's having an affair. Um, she supposedly took some sleeping drug or something like that, too. Um, and um, they think it was just, it just happened like that because she was ill or had a sickness or something like that. And um, he, uh, he's having an affair with this other woman and um, who is played by, unfortunately I didn't write her name down as the actress, but uh, very good, a uh, very good, uh, very good actress too, very great part for her. And um, with this lady, then all of a sudden they, he gets a call like I said, this was done in 1969. This movie's way ahead of its time to me, by the way. Um, very Hitchcockian of a film. Um, and um, he goes to this, um, you could call it like a strip club or a high class one, however you want to take it. And he sees this woman right here who has a very striking resemblance to his wife. And um, it's a great erotic thriller, giallo elements in this. And um, it just goes full force kind of forward for me. Um, I really liked it. I liked this done in San Francisco. I thought was really cool. Like I said, it's, uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, first film done outside of uh, Italy, and uh, that's really cool. Um, I like the aesthetic of San Francisco. Yeah, that's what it looked like back in the day, so it was really cool. Seeing that, the roads and everything like that, the atmosphere is very good. The music is very good. I mean, kind of fit this. Um, actual scenes from Folsom, uh, Folsom Prison. Um, there's a scene where you see the gas chamber that was there in that prison at the time. Um, very good. That's actually in the prison. So, uh, very good. So, yeah, uh, very... Screw it, I'll say it's a strong 8 out of uh, 10. Great Fulci film. Um, yeah, 1969, I'll be going forward with the Fulci uh, movies that I have and stuff like that. Um, he doesn't rival Argento here. Um, I've stated he's my, um, he's my more favorite director than Argento was, but uh, kind of different directors in general. Which I always like, you know, they always try to updo one another and that's what makes for great films like this. So I, I do highly recommend this. This isn't for everybody, you know, this is an adult type of a film. So uh, yeah, that is a perversion story. Perversion story, aka one on top of the other one. Very good end, uh, very good ending scene in this. I was very, uh, very impressed. The payoff totally works for this film. So yeah, it's perversion story. I didn't do any notes on this. So real quick, is this bad boy, the incubus? Um... Huge shout out to my boy Brad, 4K Tent Revival. He's mentioned this movie a bunch of times. Um, great film, done in 1981. Directed by John Hugh, starring John Cassavetes, John Ireland, Carrie Keane, and Helen Hughes. Carrie Keane, very good actress in this. I've seen her in other stuff. There is a an actor in here who plays a police chief. It's the same actor that's in um, this one right here. You can probably tell the difference, just, of course, younger in this one, too. That's in this one. Um, John Cassavetes is also a good director. He's a good director and stuff like that, and he kills it in this movie. Um, quick synopsis on this film. Um, 
an incubus it's a demon um in so many words i won't go any kind of farther into that you'd have to watch the movie this is a great uh paranormal slasher uh first person point of view um great extras on this disc um the director mentioned that he worked on a disney film that had a monster in it he would like to have changed the monster in this one or the demon in this one you'll see why um i agree um this gets so uh, ooh strong eight and a half out of ten yeah this is really good the payoff of this is really good too uh great film um i got this on uh, vinegar syndrome's uh, halfway to black friday sale i highly rec highly highly recommend um that boutique label or their site if you don't have these movies these are great kind of hidden gems you can say to try to find and stuff like that and these are all thanks to rex from the people i watch on youtube and who have helped me out a lot and i appreciate their support so yeah eight out of ten that's the incubus great film find it if you can get it at a good price i got this for 12 bucks on vinegar syndrome pick it up it's definitely worth it and there we go that's my quick uh thoughts and reviews on um these two guys right here Great stuff, great titles. Um, very impressed by Lucio Fulci. Um, uh, Video Man Gizmo's right. Anything I've seen from him so far, it's just been good. Um, anyway, hope you all enjoy the rest of this uh, 4th of July uh, extended weekend, you can say, and stuff like that. I live in Livermore, California, so it's going to be hot again today, but not as hot as it was yesterday. So um, anyway, thank you all again for the support. Thank you all for watching. If you could, like and subscribe. And um, I will talk to you all later. Y'all take care. Bye.